I look crazy right now. I just got out of the shower and self tan, so I'm green, like a little alien. Um, and I have to do the Dyson on my hair after this. But I thought it'd be so fun to do a pack with me. I'm going to visit my husband. He's on tour right now. And I'm going to be gone for like eight days. And I never check a bag. So I have to check a bag this time. I got stuff that I want to show you. Because I got like new luggage. I didn't have like a size of luggage that I could check anymore. Because I gave my husband mine. So I got the matching beige base one um, to my carry-on size. I got some new skincare to show you. I want to show you like all of my stony clover pouches and like how I pack everything and yeah like I'll mostly be showing you the beauty part of everything because I'm just packing really like athleisure workout clothes and like two cute outfits for the shows my husband's gonna be like working the whole time I don't have to be like super dressed up so I want to show you the new luggage I got and then I want to show you the beauty stuff I'm taking and the new skincare I got so I have my camera on my light tripod. I'm probably going to angle it down at some point or I'll just like hold everything up to show you. I want you to see because like I laid everything out on the bed and I don't know it's like easier this way. I can put what I'm putting on my carry on, my beauty stuff, my clothes like that. So you already know I bring you my perfume of the month. So as I'm packing my beauty stuff I want to show you my dossier perfume. So this is the Lalabo dupe and I just felt like you have to wear a Lalabo when you're in New York. It's just a vibe. I'm going to New York if I didn't mention that. Um, this is the Lalabo Gyactic 10 dupe. It's called Musky Gyak. I don't know what Gyak is, but that's fine. So I always show you my favorite dossier dupes every single month because it's a clean fragrance, all clean ingredients and vegan, and it has a high concentration and smells exactly like the real thing. I love these for travel too because they're only 1.7 ounces, so I can take this on the plane with me if I'm not checking a bag because I usually don't. You already know I own like 50 of these. It's my obsession. I probably own more than 50 at this point. They're $29 as opposed to paying $100, $200, $300 dollars for the real thing. They come with a fragrance card and it tells you the concentration and that's my favorite part because I feel like these are more concentrated and stay on me longer than the real thing. And then I'll of course layer a body cream with it. This gives you all the notes on the card. I've never owned the real Lalabo one of this. I've just smelled the sample and this smells exactly like it. And I just feel like you have to have that musky Lalabo vibe for New York. I don't know, even though it's summertime. But I love Dossier because you get free returns forever. They're always adding new fragrances. So they have so many different ones on their website. They have amazing deals. Like the more you buy, the higher the coupon code you get. So I think if you buy a three, you get like 30% off, two, 20% off. They always have new deals, so just check. I'm gonna link everything down below. And then I have a coupon code I don't get paid from, but it saves you an additional 10% on top of whatever deal they're running. So you have to go check whatever your favorite fragrance is. For sure they have it. They have Tom Ford, Chanel, Lalabo, all the high-end dupes. And you already know I've been doing clean fragrances for a while now and clean products in general, especially since being pregnant. And Dossier is all clean, so I have so many of their fragrances. I think that's the only one I'm going to bring with me because I don't want to pack too much. Thank you so much to Dossier for sponsoring this portion of the video so I can bring you my favorite perfume every month. Everything will be linked down below for you. And then while we're on new products to show you that I haven't shown you before because I hate showing the same thing over and over. I got this new slip eye mask. The funniest story about this, before I started my YouTube channel, like I had wanted to start it for years and I just never did. I was like scared or whatever, but I had a list of video ideas in my phone and then I had a list of like collaborations I would love to do and products I would love to make. And one of them was I wanted to work with slip eye mask to make an eye mask for people with lash extensions because regular eye masks are so bad they press on them and they can like snap them off and ruin your own lashes. So my idea, literally this was back in 2017 or 2018, I wanted to work, like that was on my little, you know, manifestation list. Oh, I wanna work with Slip and I wanna come out with an eye mask for lash extensions. And I think last year is when they came out with this. Um, so it's just like thicker and padded so that you can wear this with your lash extensions I thought this would be great because you know sleeping in a hotel in a new place is kind of like weird And then also I'm taking a red eye So I was like oh I can be bougie and have a silk eye mask that's not gonna ruin my lash extensions Unreal so excited Then one of my all-time favorite skincare brands Peter Thomas Roth was nice enough to send me products 
I was shocked. I was so excited because this has been a brand I've used for so many years and even people in my family have used it for years. It's just unreal. It's one of the best skincare brands. It's one of the top skincare brands at Sephora. So I thought it'd be fun to try new products. It was kind of hard for me being pregnant trying to make sure um, the products were safe for me because there was like so many good things I wanted to try that was a little stronger But first I got the pumpkin enzyme mask my friend told me this is like the best thing that they have and it's amazing This says three-in-one intensive skin resurfacer mask exfoliates with pumpkin enzyme peels with alpha hydroxy acid polishes with aluminum oxide helps reveal skin that's smoother younger radiant and revitalized so like I am showing you these because I'm gonna take them on my trip so I wanted to double check that this one was safe for me being pregnant. But for example, I've been obsessed with body creams. I've been telling you guys, I've been buying so many, so many body creams. This one I tried before in Sephora, a little sample. It is to die for. This is their like really popular line, the Water Drench Hyaluronic Cloud. This is a hydrating body cream, 5% hyaluronic acid complex. So you know hyaluronic acid holds in all the moisture on your skin and I need that. And it says drenches your body with a liquid cloud of moisture, helps provide 72 hours of hydration, enriched with shea butter, vit vitamins B5, vitamins C and E, leaves skin feeling hydrated and silky soft. So like when I do my little carry on, I normally put my body creams in a little container and it's just never enough, especially these days I have like the whole belly care routine. I have all of those in smaller containers for the most part, but I just needed a body cream for my entire body. So let me show this to you. I'm taking it out of the box so I could pack it. How cute is this packaging? It's like a little ombre effect and it's plastic. If you're sensitive to smell, this is going to be amazing for you because it's just going to be tons of moisture, tons of hyaluronic acid. This is a great one to layer under your perfumes to make them stay longer. So this is going with me. This pumpkin mask is one with me as well because I'm going to have a lot of self-care time. I'm mostly going to be in the hotel room by myself while my husband's working. Um, I just want to double check that it was safe. I don't know if I already mentioned that for pregnancy. I think it is. Um, I think the rule is if the acids are under, it's either 1% or 3%, it's safe. But I just don't have like a cute self-care day while I'm there. Then this is so important. I mean for every woman, but for pregnancy especially. This is a Pro Strength Stretch Mark Cream. This had such good reviews and I'm so excited to try it. It says it has lactic acid, a few other ingredients I can't name. <laughs> it says visibly help reduce the look of body stretch marks and helps prevent the look of future stretch marks with an intensive expert level formula. I'm almost 23 weeks now and I've been doing my little bump care. I'm gonna do a full video for you on what I do for the bump to prevent stretch marks and try to keep the skin nice. But my skin's feeling so firm, like the belly is starting to grow and show a lot. So I thought this would be amazing. Again, I'm gonna double check that it's safe um, to use during pregnancy. If not, this will be used on the stomach like immediately after. And then the last thing, this is unreal for travel as well. These are the little masking minis. So this has the cucumber gel mask, the Irish mud mask, the pumpkin enzyme one I showed you, the 24 karat gold, that one lifts and firms if you have like drier skin or like you want to do anti-aging. And then the last one was the blue marine algae mask exclusive to this kit. This is only $19 by the way. But I'll link all these for you guys. I just love buying new body care, new skincare. And this is perfect to pop in my bag. So I'm trying to figure out the best way to do this. If I should flip the camera or just set it up on the bed so I can show you. I just want the lighting to be good. Okay, so this is the new luggage i got this is the bigger version of the one i have so i already have this beige one and the carry-on version this is a smaller one you can check because i didn't know if certain airlines allowed the bigger one and then i literally got this clear it's like a little raincoat um but it's to protect it because when they check this like before they've made me check my carry-on just being you know super rude um and it's gotten so many scuffs on it so this one it's going to protect that and then my favorite features about this is this handle is so nice, has like a gripper. Here you can add bags so you don't have to carry them. It has a lock system and where you can check if it's over 50 pounds, which that's what I need. Like you can lift on here, I think, and it's green or red. And yeah, I've really been loving and using the carry-on version like so, so, so much. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna get the size that I can check. So I'm just gonna take off this clear cover. I had put it on to see what it looks like um, so I can start loading stuff in. The other reasons why I love it is you put your clothes on this side and this keeps it sh um, flat. There's two of them and there's little pockets. There's a pocket where it comes with these cute little bags. These are for your dirty clothes. I don't know what this one's for. 
Oh, it's just like for anything you want, like clothes and stuff. So I love that it comes with there. Sometimes I put sandals and stuff. And then this side zips. So this is normally where I put like all my beauty products. The issue is I'm checking a bag. So I'm not putting my makeup in here because they throw this around. So everything else is going to go. I basically have all my stuff set up to put inside. But I want to show you how I'm going to organize the beauty products. The last thing I want to show before I start actually packing this stuff I got an air tag and I got this cute little pink cover on Amazon. I will link both of these. But I saw so many TikToks with people putting air tags in their checked bags because so many bags are getting lost right now. And you can kind of like track it and see where it's at. So I'm going to put this in this little zip pocket here. Hopefully everything is good with my bag. <laughs> so I've been wanting to take my Dior book tote that my husband got me. I put the little scarf that I had on it. Um, but it's a little small, so I'm just trying to take this and then check a bag. And then also I got a new Barefoot Dreams blanket at the sale, so I'm going to take this blanket on the plane with me. I'm not sure if everything's going to fit in here, because with the organizer, it's kind of small. So I'm going to see if I'm going to take this one or the normal black base one that I take. But the black one, it's kind of heavy because I overstuff it. So I always roll it on my carry-on rolly. So I'm not really sure. My husband's already yelling at me not to overpack. I definitely always overpack, but I'm really trying hard here. But you know, I have to have the same beauty products no matter how long I'm gone for. Okay, so like I said, the clothes part, it's gonna be very boring, so I'm not gonna show that to you. It's literally gonna be athleisure. But for the beauty part and the fun parts, I want to show you. So my makeup, I just left packed from the last time. I haven't been doing my makeup very often. So I've shown you guys this before. This is my Louis pouch. I forget what this is called, but I'll link it. But I just have, oops, everything inside. It fits so much. If you guys are ever traveling with designer stuff, I always take my dust bags. So I'm gonna keep the makeup bag in my carry-on because they just throw the luggage around and I don't wanna break it, you know? So I always just have her like this in the dust bag, no matter what bag she's going on. So this will go in the carry-on. Another thing going in the carry-on, this is from Stony Clover. So I'll link their website. They have the best custom bags. I have so many of their pouches. I have at least like six or seven. And I can't wait till we choose the baby's name so I can go get his name on the pouch. But this is my airplane one. And inside here, I just keep like miniature lip balm, some liquid IV, hand sanitizer, rubber bands, tissue, um, shout wipes, and then ring clean wipes. Just like a little emergency kit that has everything you need for the plane. Once I put all the stuff in the pile for the carry-on, I'll choose what bag I'm going to put it in. I don't think I'm going to take this one, but this one says RX, so obviously you put all your prescriptions and stuff in here. I basically just take magnesium prenatals, and then I have to take a baby aspirin at night every night <laughs> and that 28 weeks I'm gonna start another medication but that's another story so I'm not sure if I need to take this I'm gonna see um, I'm probably just gonna put the prenatals in like a little Ziploc baggie the magnesium is a powder to mix with water so I'm not sure how that's gonna go but we'll figure it out then I have this one I think this is like a medium or a small I can never remember the size of these I think this is no the one I showed you I want to say this one's a mini and this one's a medium I'm not sure but these mediums they fit so much in them, you have no idea. I put sometimes like makeup in this one because um, you can really fit your whole face regimen in there. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna put in that one yet, but this one says skin. And this is the one that I'm gonna take my morning and night skincare in. Like it literally fits so much. So I'm gonna put all my morning and night skincare in here. I have it all set out and then show you how much it fits. So literally I fit every single thing in here. This is the wash I use in the morning, the wash I use at night. Two of these, I love using them to remove makeup or just like removing a mask. I brought a mask with me. I brought my VH Skin uh, peel pads. I brought like 10 of them. I brought full size eye cream, full size lip balm, lash shampoo with a brush, lash serum. I have my body scrub that I like using on my bump, some tweezers, a little spoolie for the eyelashes. So all this fits. This is a zip. You can still fit a little more in this corner as you can see, but this fits so much. So I love this size, especially if you just want to take a carry-on. Then lastly, I have this huge one. This is a large, and I love using this for like my body care and all of my hair stuff. So, so far in here, I put a belly sheet mask, a face sheet mask, an eye um, little mask, Q-tips, crazy glue in case my nail wants to come up. Then I'm putting all like my belly care, all my travel size hair products. I'm doing this. Um, this has two actually in it. So this was running out. This is the Fenty Skin 
balm this is unreal and it was running out so i used the other corner to put my other belly balm so i didn't have to take two containers so i'm taking this as well as the peter thomas roth these are like one of the few full-size products i'm taking i feel like i'm almost out of this these i use every single morning i like i said i'll show you my body care bump routine but this one will probably run out before i come back so she'll be thrown away and then this i don't know this has enough in it i think packing my retainer i'm actually uh getting invisalign soon so stay tuned for that i'm taking three hair brushes rubber bands on this little hook these dry bar hair clips for when i curl my hair my deodorant this is the best this is the native deodorant in lilac and white tea this is a natural one i've been using for years and years it's unreal a little scrunchy my toothbrush comes in this case but i think i'm gonna take it out of the case because the case is so bulky um the head already has like a little cover on it and then i use my husband's toothpaste so i don't have to pack any so that just fit everything i just told you in one and then i'll just be packing the body cream and curling iron separate i also like the little dust bag stony clover gives you so i'm gonna put that in here so i put everything together to show you so here's the larger case the smaller case some hair i'm gonna do a long braid this is a dust bag for my chanel shoes my makeup case so what i did was just take out the breakable eyeshadow palette and highlighter and put that because i'm trying to take the dior um this is just a little lululemon belt bag my curling iron the peter thomas roth body cream my gym shoes i still have some room here and here this is the clothing side i didn't have the cubes i normally do cubes but my husband has them as you can see majority black um i have like two outfits for the gym two show outfits and then like a few just like running around outfits so when you put this down you put these two straps on and then you pull these tight and then it flattens it and then this side is zipped this is sticking out a little bit but this is like the huge pouch that had everything in it so i'm gonna close this up and then i'm gonna make sure it's not over 50 pounds i'm gonna do like a little lock and weight thing on the side so i wanted to show you i think i fit everything i needed to in here um this is everything i showed you that'd be in my carry-on i left this in and because i didn't have to put the makeup bag which took up half of it it fit and then i'm gonna put the little dust bag right on top and the blanket so i hope you guys enjoyed this pack with me everything will be linked down below for you let me know if you have any questions until next time thank you so much for watching